So today we're going to be reading Psalm chapter 16, verse 8. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Okay, so this is very, very important. Here we have the psalmist saying that he has set the Lord before him, and yet the Lord is at his right hand. Like, which one is it? Where is he at? Where, Where is the Lord in, in, in this person's life? Is he before him or is he beside him? This is very important. First of all, he's everywhere just saying. But in our walk, we should also have the Lord before us and at our right hand. Let's start with the right hand. The right hand signifies a, a position of power and authority. You know, um, that's why when Jesus ascended um, back to his rightful place where he was before um, the world began, he was at the right hand of the throne of God. He was in a position of power. He was in a position of influence and authority. So that's what that right hand means. So to have God or Jesus Christ at our right hand, as our right hand or at our right side, we are saying that he has position, authority, uh, sovereignty over us. And why not? Because he is Lord. He is our savior. So we as Christians should always have the Lord God at our right hand because he has all authority, dominion, and power over our lives. Also, the psalmist says that he has put the Lord always before him. Now, this is kind of, it's a little easier concept to develop. The reason why uh, God was before, or is before, you know, the psalmist, and why he should be before us in our lives, because we don't know where to go, okay? To have someone before us, meaning that they're in a position to lead and guide us, right? So, to have God before us, we are saying that we need him to lead and guide us on this path of righteousness. We need him to show us the way, signifying we don't know the way. If we knew the way, we would lead ourselves. But because we do not, because we basically need God to hold our hand and guide us and lead us, we have him ever before us. These are two positions where we should never, ever, ever seek to remove God from. And a lot of times, unfortunately, we do. Sometimes we get the notion that, hey, look, I know the way to go. So I don't, God, I don't need you to lead and guide me. I know, I know how to get there. And we remove him from being in that position to guide us. And then we get ourselves in trouble a hundred percent of the time. And sometimes on our right side, we're like, oh God, you know, I got this situation. You don't need to handle this. I got this. And the situation overtakes us 100% of the time. God always knows what's best for us, and we don't, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, we, we never know what, what's best for us because we didn't create ourselves. God created us. The, our creator and sustainer knows intimately all about us. He knows what we look like in the future. He knows what we were in the past. And he definitely is well acquainted who, with who we are in the present. He is the most fitting and no one else to lead our lives, to guide us on his path of righteousness to the destination and purpose that he has designed for us, for us as individuals and as the body of Christ. And he's the only person fitting to be at our right, right hand, right side in a position of authority, dominion, and power because we are his creation. Thanks for watching. Comment below and share your thoughts on today's verse. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel and click on that bell notification so you won't miss any new content that's released. If you would like to help us put more videos out like this one, click on the link in the description where you can donate to the ministry. We appreciate your generous donations that help us to get the truth of God's word to all people all across the world. If you have any questions for myself or One One Outreach Christian Ministries, feel free to write us. The link is also in the description. Thanks for watching and helping us to proclaim the gospel, spread the love of Christ, and advance the kingdom of God. I'll see you next time.